Hi. My name is Joanna. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I show you how to convert an illustration with multiple colors to a scalable vector file. First step is to upload the input file using the upload button, or simply by dragging the image file to this window. Wait for the image upload to finish. Let's zoom in to check the vector output. Here around the eye there are many small shapes resulting in unclean looking borders. Most of the time this is a result of a too high max colors parameter. As seen here, many small color groups confirm this assumption. Reducing the maximum color count to 8 should improve the vector result. Yes, this looks much better. Unselect the gray color to make the background transparent. Here are still some small undesired shapes with small areas equivalent to about 3 to 5 pixels squared. Trying to increase the min area parameter should remove them. Now the output looks good, but maybe the ordering of the color layers is not optimal. To check this, switching to isometric layer mode. In this mode you see the order from left, which is the lowest layer, to right, which is the top layer. Here the dragon has a black contour, which from experience should be the topmost layer. It is possible to use drag and drop on the color groups to rearrange them, but using the order parameter should be the faster solution. Ordering by area means, that larger color groups are placed behind smaller ones. In isometric view this becomes clear. Unselect the gray color to make the background transparent again. Everything looks good now. Changing output colors is also possible. The last step is to save the output to a SVG file for further processing in a vector editing tool. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.